Welcome back to Extra Football Show Fantasy Series. Let's have a look how my team performed on game week 33 plus. The Sheffield United centre back John Egan denied a clean sheet for Nick Pope on 80th minutes. Juan Bisaka was unlucky, where a goal assisted by him was called offside. Wolves lost to Arsenal at their home and Doherty ended with 2 points. Alexander Arnold was the only one with points from my defense as Liverpool recorded most clean sheets so far, 14 to be exact. Fernandes was all over the game in Manchester United victory with 2 assists and a goal. With back to back 15 points all, he is now the first player to score 30 points from 2 consecutive game weeks. Mane registered his 16th goal of the season and grabbed 11 points with maximum bonus points. Initially, I was worried by not captaining Fernandes, but at the end, Liverpool attacker didn't disappoint me. De Bruyne came from the bench in the defeat against Southampton and ended with 1 point. He was benched second time in the 5 matches after the Covid break. Mason Mount once again disappointed me with another blank. He has only 8 points from his last 4 matches. Despite 6 points, Rashford was outscored by his teammates. He was fortunate though to take a penalty kick ahead of inform Fernandes. Adema Traore missed the big chance which was created by Jimenez to end up with back to back blank game weeks. With one player to play, there's a small green arrow on my overall rank with 60 points. There's only one chance in my back. Shias will replace Doherty as Wolves' right back was unable to deliver attacking returns. I can save 1.7 million with this transfer and invest it smartly. Aston Villa is currently struggling to get out of bottom 3 and are yet to register their first win after Covid break. On the other hand, Manchester United and Fernandes are on top form, so you can expect a high scoring encounter between these two teams. Liverpool are already the champions this season. Having said that, we can't ignore Liverpool attack Stanley. So Mane will be in my team to face Brighton away from home. Mount is transferred out for his teammate Willian. I preferred Willian ahead of Pulisic as Willian is on penalties, free kicks and set pieces. Chelsea will be up against Crystal Palace, Sheffield United and Norwich City in upcoming 3 matches. De Bruyne is expected to start in the home encounter against Newcastle United at home following his rest against Southampton. De Bruyne has 2 goals and 2 assists after the break. There's another change in my 11. Phil Foden comes in place of Gundogan. Foden has 34 points in his last 3 home matches which is 11.33 on average. He is in my team, keeping in mind to play bench boost for game week 36. Rashford and Jimenez will be the front two. I would be expecting Jimenez to break his blank run and Rashford to sharp on his finishing. As far as the captaincy pick is concerned, Fernandez and De Bruyne will be one of the top two contenders. Due to home encounter, I will be going with De Bruyne. This team is not locked yet, so you can check out Twitter for the final team. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Cheers.